Now, the world is bigger than politics and it's not always about news, so from time to time, let's make some videos about the wider world. And it won't surprise you that as a teenager from the 1990s, I loved me some Pamela Anderson. She was, of course, the ultimate cover girl for Playboy. She made her mark on Baywatch. But she was more than that. She was sexy on talk shows, naughty on the radio, constantly living a rock star life with multiple husbands. And then, of course, there was that tape that in the early days of the internet, while it took four weeks for it to download, millions of people saw. But of course, once you become an adult, you start to realize that the two-dimensional person that was in the magazine or on the talk show is a real person. And Netflix has got a documentary out that a lot of people are talking about because it shows us the full three dimensions of Pamela Anderson. And Pamela Anderson has had one hell of a life. I don't think people consider her the owner of her own image. It's Pamela Anderson, public property. I didn't feel like I had a lot of respect. Did you want to be a serious actress? I am a serious actress. <laughs> it makes you reassess what you liked as a teenager and what you weren't even willing to think about when you were a teenager. Certainly that's the way I thought about it. She talks about the difficulties that she's had, particularly in her young life. In the film, she talks openly about her painful past. Some of your childhood memories are rough. I mean, there's abuse. Um, how did you get through that? And what is it like to revisit the bad stuff? I just kind of went right back there and I could picture myself at five years old, eight years old where I used my imagination to kind of escape. I wanted to go back there and, and um, feel those feelings and kind of, now I can just put the past behind me. How Playboy was an act of trying to get power back about how she felt about her body and her life. She says posing in Playboy helped her gain confidence. I was painfully shy, if anyone can believe that. But, and then finally, I said, I'm gonna do this. Maybe this will help. You found that time of your life very empowering. You said you could take your power back. From that first day when I shot with the, my first Playboy cover, I felt like I was falling off a cliff. I said, just if somebody else can do it, I can do it. And then opening my eyes to the first flash. But perhaps the bit that's been most impactful for me, watching this documentary of a lady who's taken lots of shots and sure, thrown plenty of arrows herself, was about that sex tape. It was made by two people who never thought that the rest of the world would see it. It was literally in the days of one VHS tape that was locked in a safe, kept at their house. Somebody stole it. Somebody didn't just steal it, but then somebody put it on the internet and made millions of dollars. And people all over the world, including, yes, teenage boys in Australia, we saw it. Well, Pamela says that just as painful as the fears she had about what happened to her when she was 12 years old were all brought up again when the entire world, it felt, saw her having sex. But to rub even more salt into more wounds, just last year, Hulu, which now you can see, I think, on Disney+, Plus, made a whole mini-series about the tape being stolen. So think about a way of re-traumatizing a person who had already been re-traumatized by their original trauma, yet they decided to go ahead and do it anyway. Remember, she was on the record, she'd been to court, she never wanted the tape to be released and has never, never asked for one dollar of the millions that had been made on her image. It wasn't a, a positive thing. It was, it definitely took its, took its toll on the relationship, it took its toll on um, my career, and people are still capitalizing off that. That was, was, was the shocking part. I remember seeing this Pam and Tommy thing on Hulu or some advertisement for it, and I thought, what the hell is this? No one called me, no one asked Nobody me. Nobody calls alive. you when no. stuff I said, like that is doing done. it. No, no, nothing to do with me. So teenage boys of the 1990s, I need a deal. If you saw the tape, you have to watch the documentary, because then you see the whole person. And she's amazing.